Today we're here in Detroit, Michigan, and we're going to be checking out the Renaissance Center, which is home to General Motors World Headquarters. This is where all the it's where it all begins, right? Yes. Okay, let's go do this. Let's do it. We're gonna jump on the, they call the people mover. Now we're going to go into General Motors headquarters or the Ren Center. Santa's got a Corvette. You see that? Oh, I don't. <laughs> you don't have a Corvette? It's beautiful, it's red. Look at the fish this is Take them out and just put them in front of your glasses. Okay. You're going to say, wow. You don't have to bend them, just put them in front. Oh, wow. Dude. You guys visited Santa while you were here at the Ren Center, right? Oh, that's cool. You guys got a little goodie bag. Yeah. They got a real cool model of the whole city of Detroit. You have Tiger Stadium or Comerica Park. And that's Ford Field there. And that's where we're at right now. The Renaissance Center or General Motors headquarters. What did you think about Santa driving a Corvette? That is so cool. Yeah, it was candy apple red. Yeah. Zoom, zoom. That's how he gets to all those kids' homes, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so this is really cool. In the center here, they have this rotating carousel, I guess you could call it. And they have all kinds of cool old Chevys and GMCs and what have you. Look at this one. Wow. And there's the new style GMC there. So what do you think about this? This is really cool. They yeah. rotate on a conveyor belt. Yeah. Wow. I love the blue pickup. Yes. It's really cool. This is new. Last time we were here, this was in construction, so. Yeah, it was cool. Didn't know what it was until now. Look at this concept car. Wow. Kind of looks like a fish, right? A shark. Wow, this is really cool. I like that bubble top. Check out that radical wing, though.
Electro Air. So I'm guessing this must be a electric Corvair. <laughs> That's cool, huh? 1955 Buick. This must be the new Buick Century there. So they got all the different models and makes here. So now we're going to go outside. It's about to get frigid. Ooh, I can feel that cold air already. Ah. So this here is the Detroit River. And then over there, that's Windsor, Ontario, Canada. You can see uh, Caesars Casino over there. And there's Dawn. Hi. So you walk in the uh, river walk here? Yes. Yes. Downtown Detroit. Yeah. You found one of those electric scooters, didn't you? I guess you gotta like put your credit card in it and take off with it, right? I'm gonna do Uber Eats in Detroit. Uber Eats in Detroit. Got old George Washington standing guard here. Eighteen forty-two. Okay, so somebody lost their shoes, or somebody got a new pair of shoes. What do you think about that, huh? Somebody was sleeping, and somebody lost their shoes last night. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Here is the Detroit Windsor Tunnel, and here's a tunnel that goes from Detroit over to Windsor, Ontario, over in Canada. Ah, so we're taking a nice little walk down by the river here, and yes. yeah. So, what do you guys think about Detroit? It's cold. You know, Detroit is cleaning itself up. Yeah. All, um, all those uh, people always seen in the documentaries about the abandoned skyscrapers. Well, they're all being rebuilt. Um, big companies have moved in. I noticed the Microsoft's here, Amazon, um, yeah, it's really cool. And um, it, it's amazing because, you know, Detroit's had its, uh, its downs. And this is definitely an up. Um, ev everything's being repaved. It's beautiful. Well, you guys might recognize this from our outro. <laughs> this here is Joe Lewis's Fist, um, Detroit's own son. This is a very iconic sculpture here in Detroit. It looks like he's punching the uh, Renaissance Center there. Well, behind us is an iconic statue here in Detroit called the Spirit of Detroit. So the Spirit of Detroit is a symbol that you'll see all around Detroit. It embraces the spirit of all the folks that live here in Detroit. This is Detroit's electric streetcar that's actually new. We've got a really nice little lighted path here for Christmas. Oh, that looks good. Oh, cool. They got this little. Uh, little cave here. So what's this guy here? Grimace. Is that the, that's a Grimace? I don't know. 
Oh no, it's a penguin. Look, see, it's a penguin. Oh, he's cute. Yeah. Okay, so I got this little tunnel here, filled full of lights. Oh, the smell of pine is out of this world in here. Wow, this is great. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. You can smell the pine and all that? They really all decorated themselves this year. Yeah, Detroit's doing a great job yes. on its comeback. Good job, Detroit. Yeah. Got the winter events in downtown Detroit. Detroit's Christmas tree lighting. Downtown holiday lighting. A visit with Santa. And the rink. Well, wow, that's a beautiful tree. Yeah. And it's real. It's an actual real tree. It's not a fake one. She's real. I can smell the pine from here. Wow. How beautiful. Beautiful. They even got a skating rink here. So what's one thing Detroit known for? Conies. Okay, let's do this, right? So this is the goodness here, the Detroit Coney. You gotta have a hot dog with a casing on it. Mm. Mustard, onion, and a steamed bun. Of course you gotta have a side of fries. Okay, so we just ate American Coney Island. And then right next door is Lafayette Coney Island. American Coney Island opened in 1917 and started serving Coney's out of here. Well, his brother came from overseas and when he come, he opened Lafayette Coney Island. And these two have been in competition ever since and they're brothers. So we're gonna go try Lafayette now and see what that's like. You guys are in Lafayette Coney Island now, right? So we just got done eating American. Now we're gonna have another Coney. Oh boy. This place has got a real cool atmosphere. Kind of just a hometown Detroit type thing. You got your casing hot dog, mustard, Coney sauce, and onions. Dawn, you got one, right? And Denise, you got one. Are you getting Coney'd out? Yeah, it wouldn't be Good, huh? I got two of them. There's that, they're that good. And um, I've already got into mine. Okay, so there they are. American Coney Island and Lafayette Coney Island. Two brothers that competed against each other for over a hundred years. Okay, so we tried both Coney's. Denise, you go first. Which one was your favorite? You like Lafayette? Okay. Yes. Dawn. Lafayette was my favorite too because it had more chili on it. Oh, okay. Well, believe it or not, I kind of like the American Coney Island. But, you know, there's folks that will go to one or the other and never step foot in the other one. Yeah. So, you got some folks that will only go in Lafayette and that's it. And some folks only go to American and that's it. Well, that's the Coney story here in Detroit. Pretty good history, right? Yeah, great. We took the Coney Challenge. You took the Coney Challenge, right? Yes. And I'm... I think the Lafayette won in my book. And the camera's shaking, because it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Here's the world's tallest kettle. And it's 
It's a windy one. <laughs> and here's the Hard Rock Cafe Detroit. We got ourselves a little Tennessee flair here in Detroit. Hitsville, USA. Well, we're standing in front of Hitsville, USA, the home of Motown Records. Yes, it was started right here. Um, Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5, uh, Aretha Franklin. Uh, it's just so much history here, isn't there? Yes. Yes. Just imagine these steps that we are standing on now. Young Michael Jackson walked down it. Aretha Franklin, the greats. Um, Barry Gordy Jr. I mean, come on. It's great. So we're gonna go explore this place. A little bit. Well, I think they're closed. Everything's closed. But, um, yeah, we'll check it out, right? Yeah. A lot of history here. Well, it's closed now. But you can see inside the offices and, and everything else. Really, really cool. We're going to end this video right here in front of Hitsville, USA, right? Yes. Yes. Well, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you don't miss any more of these upcoming adventures. And we have plenty of adventures just around the corner. And pretty soon we'll be back in the Smokies and we'll be having adventures there too. And until next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.